All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Armbaras, and today we're going to get into this bug out bike series. And I'm going to show you what I've got set up, and for the wife and myself, and for the kids. And it's a great option to have. It's great to have. I'm already sweating like crazy. Humidity in Tennessee is outrageous. If those of you that live here, you know what I'm talking about. Pull you down. We're going to cover. Uh, I'll cover cover a couple of things. This is the intro to this thing because uh, I've got some upgrading to do to both bikes. And if you're looking for a bike, 99 bucks. I mean, you could spend about 99 bucks, get yourself a decent mountain bike. These are $99 specials right here that uh, this one had been dropped and kicked, so they'd marked this one down. This one had a slight discount to it, but I think I still paid a little over, a little over 180 for this bike here because it is like a $300 bike, I think. I'm not sure, but I didn't pay that much for it because I go through there and I look at things that have been drop kicked, stomped on, whatever, and so I can get a discount. It's just something to add to your inventory. It's tools. It's just, this is another piece of equipment that you can carry around. Back here, on the back here, you'll see, I've got, this is just a, a cheap attachment. It's a $45 attachment from Amazon so that I can hook the bikes up to the back, the back rack. And, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll explain as I get through this. All right, this is the bike that I got the discount on over at the Wally World. And this is the 27 inch Explorer Hyper. It's actually a Hyper Explorer. Okay, well, whatever. We'll be all right, we'll all live. All right, 27.5 inch, and it's also a 21 speed. You've got these little, uh, uh, finger and thumb spots right over here finger thumb there you go finger and thumb and you've got a disc brake in the front you've got the 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 basic little uh, standard brakes in the back yeah look I'm not an expert on bikes okay I did a lot of BMXing back in the day as a youngster but I'm not a youngster anymore but now once you reach your middle ages you move on to this is this is the middle age life the mountain bike that's all we got left guys that's all we got left all right here's my connection for my trailer i'll get to the trailer in just a minute but i had some problems with this the only problem i had was i had to adjust the rear wheel and the front wheel because it was jacked up and let me show you why i got a discount get this guys check this out that is why i got a discount that that is it isn't it crazy insanity all right, Sippy's bike is the next. It's a bit smaller than mine. Uh, this is a $99 special. You can get these all day long at Walmart for 99 bucks. 18 speed, a fantastic little bike. It it gets up and goes, no problems with the gears. I haven't had to adjust anything on it except for maybe the seat. That was it. Oh yeah, and the brake. The rear brake was a little too tight, but other than that, it's good. So we're good there. The reason why I'm showing you the bikes now is kind of a before and after. Uh, since this is a series, you guys know I'll be adding some lights and some stuff and maybe a little toolkit to each bike and stuff. So I'll take you along for all that. And go. Okay. It should just start right up, woman. You're going. <laughs> so funny. We are live. We are live. I got sweat in my eyeballs. Sorry about that. Humidity is awesome it's, today. Yeah, I was just saying that at the beginning of the video. Just let me get my eyepieces. Smooth these out of the way so I can see. All right. Now, this is a standard work trailer. Work trailer for a bike. And I've got this set up. I wanted to show you how this goes together for any of you that need to get one of these. Pretty easy peasy. Yeah. You just connect those up. Took this up. Now I added that rear light, that rear reflector. Just tilt this up. Are you showing off my green silkies today? I'm trying to avoid the crotch shot. <laughs> For all the jar heads out there, I'm, I am wearing my uh, green silkies. So, I don't know, it's just more comfortable to ride with green silkies. 
Now I've got this set up so it's on bolts. I don't want it jimmy and loose. I did this. I didn't take the... This is the way I did it. I just ran a bolt through it because I didn't want to jack that up. There we go. There's your... This comes down. Bring this around. Disconnect your doodad. Hook her up. See the line the hole up. And you get your pin. Now, this is pretty sturdy. I've hauled wood with this. I've actually, well, last the camping trip that we went on our last trip, I was actually hauling, hauling wood with this. But you could do it like this or, or underneath, either way, but that's the trailer in general. And uh, what I'm going to do today that I brought with me was, just get this on here. I'm actually going to be connecting this to here. It's a good idea for some of you out there. Let's bring this over. You see what I'm doing there? I'm just going to be connecting this to here. And just snap a couple of these. You can go ahead and pause it and I'll snap these up. Okay. Very nice. All right. You can bring, bring it around here. All right, so that's the first bag I'm adding to this for now. I'm going to be adding lights to, to the bikes, lights and doodads and like I Bells said Bells and whistles. Uh, Toolkits and stuff, because all I've got now is in here. Uh, in here, got? I've got a, this is just a small little kit, like hand wipes and, and some DEET and some sunscreen and some eye wash and um, a towels. A uh, little trauma kit on the other side. That's just some general stuff. Oh, There's that's a more the hygiene. Uh, solar channel, the solar solar panel. I can charge anything that we bring with us. It's just it's just something. To, it's on, it's something for biking. Okay, uh, as we're out with the kids, this is just stuff I don't want to carry on my person at the moment. I don't want this to ride my hip while I'm pedaling. Mm -mm. And then my little K bar knife. I want to keep that in there, and then. Uh, I've got some electrical tape, tools, zip ties, all your bare essentials, right? There's that. In here, we got water. There's snacks in there. Water and snacks. Over here, we've got a tr full trauma kit. Trauma. Flashlight, uh, nitro gloves, uh, quick clots, uh, Coflex. Uh, Probably your babies. Uh, yeah, the uh, uh, sling for. Uh, your arm injuries and whatnot, leg injuries, all your different injuries that you can get. I've also got a little survivor kit. I like putting this in there. It's just to be a goofball. Survivor but, kit. But yeah, there's your little, there's your soul kit. I like carrying it around with me. It's something I do. Don't hate. I like the kit. But yeah, it's a cool little kit to have in there. But yeah, that's, that's what I got on this one. I'll bring you over here real fast. Here's this guy. I just got to set up. Now these collapse, you can crunch them all the way down and uh, to open them up, they simply slide apart and the wheels pop off once you pull the pins out of them. I have to figure out where the pin went for that one. Oh, uh, it's on the bike. The pin? Yeah, I put it on the handle. Okay. I was wondering where that pin went. That's to the wheels, but the whole thing comes apart. I didn't know we were missing a wheel there but yeah the whole thing comes apart and snaps together so it's always good to show somebody that this just goes right in there now you got your other wheel back on but these open up and then the whole thing comes together all right go ahead and pause it real quick Thanks. having problems all right all right so the way this works this is if you've got kids it's a two-seater you can tell we've already been in the woods with it because it's already it's full of leaves and all kinds dirty. of trash but uh this would work good because it's got the weatherproofing right so you got this whole thing that'll come down on it and you can weatherproof the whole thing um you can load it up with your gear, packs, whatever. You don't have to use it for kids. It's very light. 
You roll it around all over the place. Pop some wheelies. Pop some wheelies. The way this hooks up, someone's gonna ask, so I always like showing you guys things like this because it might help. But it just connects, I think, yeah, this is your, and just so you know, this is an instep carrier. You can get this at any Wally World. And you just sort of, yeah, wherever. There we go. Something like that. And you're hooked up and ready to go. And things like this one kind of tosses. So. But yeah, the kids will load up in there. And in the back here, if you look right in here, you've got another spot here. Whole wide section. I could put that same bag in here that I just put together. That's that whole bag will fit in here plus more. And you can put a couple of cases of water. I was going to say a just, couple chihuahuas maybe. Just in this one spot right here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Alright, that's all I got for you guys today. I figured I'd share that little bit with you guys. We're about to go on a ride and we're going to be gone for a little while. But um, if you like this, please share. Please subscribe if you're not already. And uh, rainbows and unicorns. God bless you guys. We love you.